What's up guys, it's me Don Fanatic and welcome to a new Pokemon Showdown session I am doing. Now I haven't named this session yet so I might come up with something during the course of it. Um, basically, there's some, well, as some of you may know I'm not really a fan of the higher tiers but it seems like I'm progressing up through the tiers. I started up PU, I'm now doing NU, probably do IU next, but I have no idea about the IU meta game, so that could be really interesting. But today, we, or this little session, we're going to be facing uh, some NU teams, and there's quite a few Pokemon uh, from the past, which I know are pretty goddamn good, and uh, Pokemon that I wanted to try out uh, in this team. So hopefully they pull through and uh, can do some real damage and or support the team how they are supposed to. So, um... I don't know what to call this, so I'll just call it Sesh NU for now. But basically, we have Choice Band Pangoro with Mole Breaker because we don't have any punching moves. Um, Crunch, Storm Throw. Um, I could probably change that up a Hammer Arm, to be honest, because we're not very fast at all anyway. And the nice thing is, though, Storm Throw does crits. So we might change that out uh, at some point. Poison Jab for any uh, fairies that want to come in, or Grass types, and Earthquake because it's nice coverage. Uh, that's. I haven't really investigated Pangora's uh, moveset too much, um, but that there's some moves I saw and thought looked quite nice. Swellow, uh, or Captain Brave Bird wannabe, uh, is an absolute force to be reckoned with. After Guts, it's ridiculously fast anyway. I don't know what Guts does. I think I want, I want to say it's 1.5 times your attack. It's got like 259, so it's approaching 400, and Brave Bird and Facade are just absolutely nothing to be messed with. Uh... Cryogonal, or I cry every time, uh, is a pretty standard specially defensive uh, one, fully specially defensive, Ice Beam, Recover, Rapid Spin, and Magic Coat for any unexpected Toxics, Burns, Thunder Waves, whatever, because obviously it's quite attractive to try and get a Thunder Wave on this thing because it's quite fast, Toxic so you can help bring it down, especially if they haven't got any physical attackers left. But then we have Sexy Toad, uh, who is named after Frank, because obviously Frank loves his Sexy Toads. Uh, we've got Knockoff, School Death, Quake, Stealth Rock, pretty standard for a Seismic Toad, I believe. This is physically defensive. Uh, it seems like these guys uh, sort of have good synergy between the two. Um, there's probably a few weaknesses I've missed off, but I, I don't know if there is, actually. I'm sure they cover each other's weaknesses. Um, but obviously, you need a standard Knockoff user. Scored for the burn. Uh, Earthquake is just good stab. And Stealth Rock, because Rocks is nice. Um, I was going to say I don't have a spinner, but I do have a spinner, that's fine. Because uh, I have quite a few Pokemon weak to rock, so it's uh, important that I do try and get some rapid spins off. Uh, Pyro is always a Pokemon I've been interested in, but sadly its move pool is terrible. Uh, I think it has better, or has good, like, physical attacks, but a dreadful attack stat. Which is surprising for a lion, but never mind. So I've got Flamethrower, Hyper Voice to break through, well, for Dual Stab, plus Hyper Voice breaks through subs. Which will be nice against things like Chatots. Will O Wisp can be nice just to catch a few things off guard. And Dark Pulse and with Unnerve. I was thinking Moxie, maybe running a mix set, see if that would work, but it wasn't really anything that interesting to run physically other than Wild Charge and some other fire moves. Um, and then we have Specially Attacking, Choice Scarf, Electivire. Electivire seems to fall short for everyone. Not today. This is why it's called the Promised Land. We are going to get into the Promised Land. I also decided to put Vital Spirit because I'm Choice Scarfed. I don't really need the Motor Drive boost. Um, and it also means I can, oh, pardon me, bring in a um, electric type on somebody who wants to use a uh, sleep powder. They can volt switch the hell out of there. So that's the team. We're going to quickly get a few games in. Uh, I'll probably, I haven't got long to record this video, so I'll record this and I'll probably come back tomorrow and record some more. But let's just go home and in the NU tier, let's uh, look, shall we, and see if we can get utterly destroyed. Now, when this tier came out, I, la I laddered to number two after an hour, so actually, rather scarily and worryingly, I'm going to be really high up the ladder, and I'm just going to get my butt raped, because I think I'm quite high up on the ladder, <laughs> because I did make an NU team before that just killed everyone, but it would really help if we could find uh, an opponent. There you go. So this guy is using like a PU team, half PU, half NU? So I think it's quite, it'd be quite nice if we can get our rocks up by the looks of it, because that Rotom fan is going to be annoying. Is he going to be real and lead with his um, Sceptile? I think Captain Brave Bird Wannabe is a good lead, because we can U-turn out if we're faster. All right, so we sent out Garboda. I'm going to U-turn out. I don't want my Toxic Orb to activate. He might have Rocky Helmet, actually. Um, 
Um, I have got Psychic on Promised Land. I'm just going to go into... Oh, what's he going to do? I'm going to U-turn. We'll see what happens. See if he has the Rocky Helmet or the Black Sludge. It seems to be... Oh, he's withdrawn, which is good, so we can get the hell out of there. Well, our U-turn done a good amount. And now let's bring in... Who do we want to bring in? I reckon Sexy Toad. He's going to go for the knockoff. So he can knock off the leftovers if he wants. I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. Uh, I, I Actually, I don't think I'll be faster because I'm a minus speed nature. What's his speed? 112 to 240. So, uh, this could be a good time to get my rocks up. Unless he wants to. Swords Dance. Okay, I'm just going to Earthquake. Get the hell out of here, Pornyard. You are not staying around. I don't know why he tried to Swords Dance. Sceptile was kind of obvious. Uh, Cry Every Time is a very safe switch on this thing. So I'm just going to do it. Uh, substitute, you sub all you like. If you want to stay in, you can. That's going to do just over half, so we can live another one. After lefties, which is good. So this is looking good. Ice Beam. Unless he gets Min Max, he's probably going to switch here into uh, Torkoal. I was very, very close to calling it Twerkoal. Um, <laughs> But hopefully he should switch. Yeah, he will. Into Torkoal, exactly like I said he would do. So, that, that's not a decent amount, considering, uh, well, yeah, considering. Um, so, Sexy Toad is probably the safest switch now. I don't know what he's going to do. He'll probably go back into Sceptile. Oh, he gets his rocks up. So, I can get my rocks up now for free, or I can go for a knockoff. Probably knockoff, because I don't want this thing... If this thing has leftovers... Oh, right, I'm going to knock this thing's scarf off. Yep, so I don't know if he can trick anymore. Let's put Stealth Rocks up. He can't really touch us with anything other than Will-O-Wisp, but I still have Scald. And Knock Off is just there to knock off items. It's not there for damage. Um, I was really expecting the Sceptile to come back in, so it would have been quite nice if I knocked off his Life Orb. Well, I don't know why you'd run Substitute and Life Orb, because that's just depleting your own health really fast, unless you have Giga Drain, of course. Um, so that does nothing. Do I bring in Cry Every Time? I probably can. Live the rocks, and I'm... Oh, he's tricked. So he now has my leftovers. Okay, so trick does work if we don't have an item. So, let's recover. I'm pretty sure I can live. Yeah, I was sure I could. So I don't mind too much that he took my leftovers from this. Ursa Ring. Okay. Is he going to protect? Is he going to be real and protect? I don't know. I'm sure I'll be faster than him, so I'm not too... Bu okay, I'm just going to Ice Beam. Why didn't I go for Rapid Spin? I don't know. Um, Alright, he's got minus speed now. So I guess we could bring in Rupert. And Storm Throw. And it will probably hurt most things. What's he going to bring in expecting the Storm Throw? It's Crunch. Crunch is quite a safe option. I'm choice bounded. It's going to hurt. It's going to kill this Rome. Easy peasy. Um, obviously I wasn't going to go for the fighting move because... Well, he's got two resistances. Torkoal. Uh, he's going to spin away rocks, so I'm going to stay in. He's not going to Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, he's yawned, actually. Okay. So, is he now going to... Uh... Is he now going to... Roar? Not roar. Spin his rocks away? He's going to Sexy Toad. Sexy Toad's got this thing covered. And if he wants to yawn... If he wants to keep yawning, it's fine. We can always go to Evire and uh, play around that. So he does go for the Rapid Spin, which sucks. Um, here I'm going to go for the Bolt Switch. Probably will kill it if he wants to switch. Fine. Oh, we did kill it. That's good. That's fine. So, do I want to keep momentum up? I'm pretty sure I'm faster than this whole team now. So I'm probably just going to fire off attacks and kill him. Because we have the Toxic Orb. Pretty sure Brave Bird is going to pretty much kill his whole team. Uh, or even Facade. <laughs> that matter, I think, I think we're good. Um, I'm going to preserve myself because I want this for... Uh, Sceptile. Let's bring in... I say, let's bring in Rupert. Because I think we... Do we resist poison? Spikes. Yeah, spikes. That's fine. Um, what's his face isn't effect line. Let's go for the Earthquake. It's going to hurt anything. Even that Sceptile is probably within a two-hit KO range from that low. Come on. Make the move. What are you going to do? You're going to die. I'm telling you, you're going to die, Garbo, to this Earthquake. You're bulky, but you're not quite strong enough to live a Pangoro here. I'm sorry. Come on, Garboda. We can, we can prolong this, or we can make it nice and easy and painless. Just just tell me what you want to do. You swap out into Earth's Ring. This thing's got a... Oh, it's so close to dying. I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to take a 
hammer arm, so I'm just going to swap out. Uh, yeah, he does go for the hammer arm. And surprisingly, I think I should be able to live another one, which is quite weird. And why is it, why he's not running guts? Well, maybe he is. He probably is running guts. Just that um, what's it called? Uh, da, 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 da. Ooh, what are you gonna do here? You gonna sub? Yeah, I thought you might this earthquake. Hope to take out that sub. I want him just to giga drain. Honestly, I want him to kill me. Because uh, then I get a free switch. Thank you. And now Septile is completely fucked in the anus. Excuse my French. Because Captain Brave Bird wannabe is probably going to do a better job than Captain Brave Bird could. And doesn't take out Garboda, surprisingly. Um, but I do have Pyroar for Septile, and I'm probably faster than it. So let's just Brave Bird again. And nice and powerful Swello took out the Garboda, and now it's Septile versus my free Pokemon that I could. Yeah, it's just going to Cirque to Freak. If he wants to sub, it's fine, because I have Hyper Voice. Um, I'm probably faster, so let's just Flamethrower. Oh, oh, he missed his Focus Blast. That's a real shame. That's a real shame. <laughs> GG. At least he wasn't too uh, salty about it. And, okay, we're, it looks like the ladder got reset, because that was ages ago. I don't know. I don't follow Showdown much, so I don't know like when the ladder gets reset and stuff. So we won with this team. And to be fair, this team doesn't look too bad. I don't know if it's too standard. I don't think Pangora is very standard in you at all. But based on that game, I think I got two kills of it, so obviously it can't be that bad. It's just maybe not got much of a place in here. So, Pangoro, what can you screw over? You can screw over Kabutops, you can screw over Jinx, and you can screw over Dusclops. Very important, we probably try and get a knockoff on that Dusclops. Oh, and he'll also try and burn us. I don't have a cleric on this team, which is a shame. So, we're going to start with Captain Brave Bird Wannabe. So, we can do some scouting. He's going to set up his rocks. So let's go into Sexy Toad, so we can get our own rocks up, and he does have a spinner in, what's it called, Kabutops. Do I go for the knockoff or do I go for the stealth rock? I'm going to go for the knockoff, just so he can't get them leftovers. Them leftovers are annoying, and Torkoal doesn't get any recovery other than rest, and obviously you don't want to run rest on this thing. If it's similar to the, go oh, okay, Go-Go, okay, that's fine, knockoff, what's he running? Focus Sash Go-Go, that's very, very, very interesting. I don't really know what you might want Focus Sash and Go-Go for, but we'll go into I Cry every time because we can probably outspeed and kill it on the next turn. Leaf Blip, or not. Right, so now we have a free switch into Cirque de Freak, and I'm pretty sure he's going to go into Torkoal right now, so I'm going to Hyper Voice, and it should be enough to two-hit KO that Torkoal. Um, Bootops even. Oh, I should have will o -wisp. I should have. Oh, I done 50%. And he's not got leftovers. So he might be life orb. So actually. Oh, no. Her okay, he doesn't have that. No! Screw you, Min Max. Screw you, Min Max. Just fuck you. Just go away. That's not fair. Quick attack. You can go into Dust Blops if you want. There's no point in saving your uh, Kabutops. I haven't even got rocks up. Uh, he can't spin away rocks now. If I get rocks up, they're there to stay. Although, mine are here to stay as well. Come on, let me finish you with a quick attack. Okay, so you decide to save yourself. And, well, that quick attack done way too much. He's leftovers, which means I'm faster. So, that's hard. What? Because why not? That's dead. It's a dead jinx. That was really stupid. Right, so, if he brings in dust lots, I'm just getting the hell out of here. And I'm going straight into Sexy Toad. Right then, Sexy Toad, let's do a... He's got Frisk as his ability, instead of Pressure, which is interesting. Sexy Toad, let's go into this, take the... Oh, he won't try and... Why he tried to will this, I don't know, because I was toxic. Obviously, he wanted something else Burn. He's going to go into Go-Go, so I'm going to get my rocks up. Oh, he's not going to go into Go-Go. He's going to Thunder Punch? Okay, I'm quite surprised he didn't expect the knockoff there. Now he'll probably get into Go-Go, expecting the knockoff. I'm pretty sure he will. So what? His Go-Go's on 78. His, his Kabutops is dead now. It can't come in and spin the rocks away. Although Torkoal can. I'm pretty sure both of them get rock, uh, rapid spin, which is annoying. Right, so you're, you've had your Violet knocked off. Let's go for some Scald now, shall we? Uh, nothing on their team can will appreciate Scald. Why is he Shadow Sneaking? It's doing no damage. Get a burn. Or not. Let's not get a burn. Let's um, Scald. 
He's not shadow sneaking. Oh, there's the burn. Pain split. Ah, I see. Pain split. Um, now he's going to go for the shadow sneak. So I could go into Captain Maria Bird's wannabe. Or is he going to pain split again? Uh, I really want to go into Captain Brave. Bread for wannabe, expecting the shadow sneak. Oh, he switches. Okay, Torkoal, we're just coming. We're just you turning straight out of there. Even the toxic hurts. Very, we can only afford one more switch in. So let's get out. It's not very effective. And sexy toad. He's gonna rapid spin away my rocks. Of course he is. So actually, his actually it's quite obvious Kabutops isn't his spinner because. Um, because it's choice. Well, I assume it is. Because that waterfall. Right, now he sacks his Kabutops. Critical hit. Well done, Sexy Toad. Getting that crit when it doesn't matter. So in comes Excelgore. Just for the revenge kill. Because otherwise he wouldn't be able to outspeed me. Pretty sure you get. Um, pretty sure you get, like, hydration or something. So I don't know if that means I can hit you with a water type or not. He's probably not max speed. I don't, actually, I don't know if this thing runs max speed or not. So I'm just going to go for three, but. I'm hoping he's modest. 127 speed, that's ridiculous. So I assume max speed base 125 will outspeed neutral. Um, neutral, I'd say. Maybe not then. We learn something new every day. Alright, let's go into Rupert. And Rupert is here to completely screw over his team with some crunches by the looks of it. I, this thing will probably be sashed. Although his go go was sashed. And the fact he's used Sludge Bomb was it two times in a row probably means he's uh, choice specs, maybe? Max speed choice specs? I don't know. But, oh no, Bug Buzz. Okay, that, that did a lot. Crunch. It is a Sash! Why would you run two Sash Pokemon? That's just stupid. Um, I'm pretty confident that Rupert will be able to take everything on after... Oh, I don't know. That go-go is going to be a problem. Let's just crunch and hope we can live bug bars. Yes! Rupert, you fucking legend! Ru oh, if you don't get the nickname, by the way, Rupert the Bear. Oh, that's made... Oh, that's made everything so much easier. Right. Now what are you going to do, buddy? What are you going to kill me with? I hope he brings in go-go and I'm... Fuck, damn it. The shadow sneak is so painfully obvious. Do I bother keeping Rupert around? I guess I do, because I can switch moves about. Um, so I'm gonna switch. Expecting the shadow sneak. There it is. After the burn, uh, he's down to an amount of health where Thunderbolt will kill. The question is, I can't remember if grass. I assume I think grass does resist electric. This I, this battle is really in the balance. And I don't know what's gonna happen. Come on, Electivire, we can pull through. I kept Pangoro back as death fodder because. Well, that, that thing's dead. He can't spell Cyclops, if that's what he's trying to do. He's got Cyclo. No idea what that's meant to mean. Um, come on. We can we can win this. Go, go. Let's fund the ball and see what happens, shall we? I'm just going to do oh, absolutely nothing. Oh, shit. He has Earthquake. <laughs> oh, well, we lost. That that was stupid of me. It was close. I mean, Torkoal would have died to a Thunderbolt. I just... Uh, in fact, if I wasn't choice, I would have probably been okay. I need I need an ice move. Maybe I can power ice be a lot more beneficial over what's it called? Um psychic. But we'll soon find out. We'll have one more battle and see how this goes. So we've won one lost one. The win was good, the loss was the loss, the loss was close. Um Typhlosion's NU? Oh my god. Dusclops again. I'm seeing a theme here. That's going to be choice, isn't it? Choice, type Flosion, and Golem will be there for rocks. So I reckon Captain Brave Bird, a wannabe. Dusclops, okay, let's U turn out. Uh, he could try and Willow it, so I could, could just stay in, I guess, in Brave Bird, but I'm going to preserve some health before he gets rocks up and whatnot. So I think that might be a more sensible decision. Let's U just U turn out. I hope he switches into something. Um, just so I get the switch initiative. I don't see why he would. I have 150 seconds to make my decision. I've already made my decision. Come on, my opponent's made the timer, but he's now uh, turned on the timer, but taking so long himself. Are you going to go ahead or not? 
Are we going to play this game or Roselia jump off? Are you going to sit there and wait or, or are you just going to make this really boring for my viewers or are you just going to be a complete asshole? Come on. Oh my god, dust blocks, what are you doing? Just kind of, whoa, made it feel good. Alright, cancel U turn just because, why not? I'm gonna win two due to, 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 to forfeit this way. Wait, wait, I can't speak now. It's too late, it's two minutes past ten. Come on, Captain Great Bird Wannabe. Come on, Dust Lops. You can do this. I mean, you're so intimidating, you make them wait. I mean, they've already waited 60 seconds. There's gotta be 60 seconds left now, come on. He's turned on the timer, and it's his own downfall. Oh, 60 seconds. 60 seconds. What can I do? For oh, he's finally made his choice. Let's go into sexy tone. That's what I wanted to do all along, and he will. I should have gone into Pyro, really. That would have uh, made a lot more sense. Knock off, because I have got Dark Pulse as well, obviously. I also have Will Wisp, so I can burn this thing. Knock off the Violite, because that's important. Then this thing isn't as scary. Um. Is he going to continuously nightshade? I feel as though Captain Brave Bird wannabe is a safe switch. This is going to nightshade and I'm immune. So I now have my Toxic Orb, which means I can U-turn out and do some more damage. Plus he's not a Violite. Cool, he's gone into Golem, so that's a nice easy kill for Rupert with the Storm Throat, I hope. I really hope. Because I am Choice Band and I don't want to give him Weakness Policy. No! Right, he's not weakness poly policy anyway, he just wanted to get his rocks up. So actually, uh, he's going to bring in Dust Clops, that was quite obvious. So he's now going to try and burn me. So we're going to go into Cirque the Freak. Take the burn, yummy, 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 yummy. And then we can start firing off Dark Pulse. Hopefully we get a flinch. Oh, here comes Golem. That's dead, I'm afraid. Sorry, Golem. Um, can I live? Oh, Lantern. Okay, that's a problem. Let's go into Cry Every Time, because, uh, well, actually, Sexy Toad completely... S oh, what are you going to do? You don't get any boosting moves, do you? I'm going to Rapid Spin here. Uh, will you magic... Uh, I don't know. What do you try and do here? I'm going to Rapid Spin, see what happens. It's going to Thunder Wave. No, I should have... I know he's, he's electric type, so he can't do that anyway. So actually, if I go into Sexy Toad, uh, we completely wall him. I guess, sub Thunder Wave, Scald, Volt Switch, uh, Water Absorbing Ground type, so you can't cause any damage, so he's pretty much forced to switch. Or he could just be the complete arsehole, he probably is, and um, just sit behind the sub until I die to burn. Yeah, pretty much. I haven't got a Cleric or a Wish user. Probably could do with a Wish user, um, because I have Swellow weak to rocks, Pyro weak to rocks, Demire. Uh, is he weak to box or is he neutral? I don't know. But I'm paralysed, which is actually okay, because for a wall, while he's fast, I mean, it means I can't be burnt and I can't be toxic, and that's both residual damage, and you don't want that on your wall, do you? Oh my god, he's Parafusion Lantern. At least I'm burnt and can't hurt myself too bad. I'm just going to Earthquake. Um, he can't touch me now, though. He's just going to Confuse Ray again or Switch. I don't know what he switch into. But I can hyper voice past the sub. I kind of want to break it more than anything. Um, question is, is he going to be Volt Absorb or Water Absorb? Okay, so in comes Dust Pops. Um, at least he's not behind his sub anymore. And now I can Scald. Is he going to make the pro play and bring in his. Oh, it snapped out of confusion. That's nice. The crit and the burn. Yep, love the burn. The nightshade. Um, I'm going to keep this thing around because it might. Might be able. I should be able to take water moves from a uh, lantern. It has scald. Might have thunder. Uh, it probably has volt switch. Actually, as last move. Let's just. What can we do? Let's just ice beam. Oh, he's gonna pain split. Why didn't I think of that? He's faster now, isn't he? Uh, he's gonna pain split again, but I'm faster, so I'm gonna recover. That's fine. It's more health for him to regain. But hopefully, after he's gonna pain split again, isn't he? So, I'm going to let him get his health back. And now this time, he can pain split when I bring in my sexy toad. 
hopefully he won't expect this pro play of mine. Come on, you know you want a pain split again. Give me my health back. Thank you! And after burn, which Scald is probably going to take it out. Oh, it's close. It's so close. Nightshade, he'll, he'll take me out, but his Dusclops is gone. So it's 5 for 4, and now uh, Captain Brave Bird Wannabe probably outspeeds his whole team. Probably. He does. Note the probably. One turn, okay. Let's facade and bait the attack. See what his attacking electric move is. It'll probably kill me. Facade, however, is going to do a decent chunk. When I say decent, I mean enormous chunk of damage. And then I can come in and revenge kill. I have, I mean, I have Earthquake on this thing. It's, that's a lot of damage. Confuse Ray. What aids is this? Um, I mean, he can't take a facade from anything. Oh, why did you have to do that? And he is scald. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna live toxic. Right, let's U turn out. I mean, let's live this. He hasn't got rocks up. So I can use this thing as death fodder. Just in case. Go into. I want him to go into a uh, source bug. Oh, why did you have to do that? Why? Why did you have to do that? Okay, um, so. Rupert is probably the best bet here. And I think. Let's just play safe and go for the. See, I really want to go for the poison jab, but I'm just going to go for the crunch. Hey, it can slurp up. I should have gone for the poison move. Holy shit, that done a lot. Is he going to be real and go for the belly drum? Unburden combo at this stage. Is he going to do it? Because he saw how much that done. I might have the balls to stay in and just go. I, oh, I really wish I'd click poison jab now. I really wish I'd clicked it. That's the reason why I run it. Purely for slurp puff. I don't know what other fairies there are in this tier. But, oh, I'd have been so pro if I had. Don't play the drum. Right, he's going to play rough. That's fine. I'm going to be faster, so I'm just going to fun. Am I going to Thunderbolt or not? Am I going to be real in Thunderbolt or Psychic? No! Citrus Berry, play rough. Damn it. Damn it. I thought this thing would... I thought he'd switch, so maybe that means he's War Absorb? I don't really know. Let's go for Flame Thrower and get... Oh, he's faster. Oh, I'm burdened. Uh... Right, that's Slurp Puff's dead. I might not speed the rest of his team. So if that isn't a Scarfed, Swords Buck, Max Speed isn't fast enough. Typhlosion is going to be a problem. So Swords Buck, if he outspeeds, he's Scarfed. Oh, he missed the Jump Kick. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh dear. Which probably means that his um his Typhlosion isn't Scarf. So hopefully that means Pangora. Oh no, it'll be Specs. Pangora, what are you at? You're at you're at hundred percent. So I mean hopefully he can take a uh, I mean the HP is stat is big enough. Three hundred and eighty four, I think. Earthquake should kill. Eruption. Oh my god, we died. Oh, no way. Oh, we were so close. We were so, so close. If I live this. Oh my god, that specs eruption, man. That done so much. Oh. All three games were so close. We just weren't lucky enough to win this last one. He's just sitting, he's waiting there for me to say GG and then I'll quit. Oh, it's so close. I need to really improve, man. I'm not good enough to play this. I play for fun. I don't play for tearing. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching this first episode, guys. I'll think of a name. I still haven't thought of one. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't and so on. And I'll see you, hopefully, for the next episode. Cheerio!